Yo, what's going on guys? So it's been about two, actually going on three months since I've been using the OnePlus Nord N30. And I, I definitely think it's a solid device right now because it's offering a really a large amount of features. This device actually, if you go on the Amazon right now and you take a look at the price, I think they have a special on Best Buy for like $199 or 150 But on Amazon right now, you can get the OnePlus and 30 for a decent price let me show you what i'm talking about um but what i really like about this device right now is 199 i think they marked it off a hundred dollars on amazon i'm actually using this poetic case right here i think this is the revolution series so it's going to be very protective and you can see the cameras you get a 108 megapixel camera as well as two other cameras on here on the back but let me take the case off so I, so I can show you a little bit of the build quality and what we're, we're getting with this phone. All right, so I got that off. The case kind of left a little texture on there. All right, cool. So it's nice and clean. You can see the design is offering like this plastic material on the back it does i did scratch it right there i'm not sure how but there's a scratch like right right there next to the logo and you know other than that that's the it's gonna scratch really really easy i'm gonna put a different i think the case that i had on there scratched it i'm not sure but this phone will scratch regardless because of the materials that they use it's it's a very scratch prone material so it's got that gl glossy finish to it. It, does, it gathers a lot of fingerprints on here. So I just wanted to mention that it will not be the cleanest device that you've ever used when it comes to like basically the overall back of here. But it, it does have a nice design other than that. If you can get over that, then you're going to really enjoy this phone, right? Because it's got a 6.7 you know, inch display. I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. I think it wants my pin number because I was messing around with it too much when I took the case off. All right, here we go. So we're connected to VPN. Cool. Right now, I'm actually running this device with 5G network. So if I turn off my Bluetooth right here or my Wi-Fi, I'm always on the 5 gigahertz network. You can see once I turn that off, I'm on 5, 5G at the top on Metro by T-Mobile. So this device is definitely pretty cool. It's running on Oxygen 13.1. And if you go into this, what I like is a, the software on here. So if you go into the settings and you go into special features, you're gonna see we got flexible mode, quick return, sidebar, simple mode, split screen. Um, it also has that swipe out panel like Samsung and then that you can drag apps out from. And you can do like a split screen like that, which is kind of cool. So um, let's see, I could, you could do split screen that way where you drag it out from the side and then you can bring out pop-up windows too, like Samsung does. So I really like the software on here. This is, this is actually really good software. You can see right here, I could even make this a floating window or I could actually grab it, brush it to the side once it's a floating window, you could just pick either one up. So right here, you just hold, long hold that part and you can switch them around. Swap sides. Let me go back. I'm going to close one of the apps right now. And you can see you get three quarters of the way when it comes to actually looking at it. And this does have a really nice display. So that's the other thing that I really like about it. You got your um, side, the sides on here are really flat. It's made of this like nice metal material and you're getting the SIM card remover slot right here. It has a screen protector built in, which definitely helps because this phone, I noticed I scratched it a lot on the front and back, but on the bottom you get your headphone jack and you do get dual speakers on this device. So when it comes to the speakers on this device, it's actually really good. Uh, you can see the storage that we're getting when it comes to if I go to about device it's giving us 128 gigabytes of internal storage 8 gigabytes of RAM and then you have extra RAM management that you could put on here 
Um, it's also showing you the camera configuration. The front is a 16, 108 megapixel, 2 megapixel depth and macro. And it's running on the, you know, Oxygen 13, like I mentioned, with the July patch. Uh, I'm not sure if it's getting any new updates anytime soon, but it should be. And you can see all your extra special features right here. This device is definitely packed with so many different variety of features. You get your na navigational options here too. Uh, notification, I mean, and you can actually make it so that you can customize any of the app, uh, notifications. They have this tuner for audio, which is also dope because you can customize it to music, movie, or smart. And this device lasts for a very long time. It's also extremely customizable too. Uh, so, you know, I have my widgets for most of my apps on here. Uh, I, I really like the customization of this phone. It gives you options to customize the tra the transitions. If you want, if you're into stuff like that, I think it's pretty cool. Um, you also can customize the layout and make six apps on the bottom instead of five. I think that's going to be really cool too. And you can at mess around with the widgets too. So you got the widgets here. You also do have the ability to customize icons the way you want them to look. Uh, so it gives you complete control over the device most of the time, which is really cool. And it feels really fast as well. So these are the different wallpapers that it has. I really like these coming out of the, gu the gun. Also, the workshop lets you create your own wallpapers and stuff like that. And when it comes to the photos, like I, I mentioned, when it comes to the, this camera, I have it has a 108 megapixel. And it takes really good shots. I took a couple of shots of some flowers and the detail on there was actually pretty, pretty nice. So you can see right here, it was definitely, it did a really nice job capturing light and stuff like that. Very close up when it comes to the detail and very stunning. So yeah, I took a few pictures. It also does have that night mode on there. Um, other than that, you know, the, the phone flies when you're using it. You can see I'm just getting a lot of detail on like the, this leaf I took a picture of. Um, so that was kind of cool. Um, I was out with the family right here and it, it does a good job of doing skin tones, like the different skin colors. It's, it definitely differentiates the colors very well and all different types of shades, which is another thing that I really like. Video quality goes up to 1080, but it's actually good because you get stabilization when you're using it on the video mode too. So it gives you a lot of features. You could only get 720 and 1080, but the video is stable and it doesn't have that feature like built in, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, the cameras are very good on here. I just like how fast it charges as well because inside the box, they're gonna give you this brick, which is actually enormous. It's an enormous brick. This is, a, I think, a 50 watt fast charging brick and it's enormous and it's gonna charge the phone like faster than any other phone that I've, I've ever seen in this price. So in the US at least. So that's another thing that I really like about it, but it also has a pretty decent processing chip. It's an average one at Snapdragon 695 and it games very well and it also does a lot of things very well it's feature pack you get nfc on here 5g um, i'm using the vpn from google it's customizable when it comes to screen casting hotspot is going to also be a nice feature and so yeah i've been messing around with this device for about two months and it's been a solid phone the, the display is gorgeous and it's very nice it has a really nice volume when you're listening to videos so if i go into like files right here at the top there's a folder for that i just got to find it right here and then if i go into audio the the volume of the the music gets very loud so if I, it gives you this option right here where it's 200 times volume 200 percent volume so it gets very loud so yeah that's my overall thoughts after two months the only thing i could say is that they took away the amulet panel from the n20 and put the 
this IPS LCD panel on this one and then but the cameras are still really great the screen is actually really nice as well so uh, I've been using this device for a while now and I'm enjoying it I definitely still like using it but let me know what you guys think about the N30 I think for the price it's good and if you can get it for like $200 or less or even free from Metro if you get, get a new number or something like that it's going to be a good option too it's got the facial recognition on here too so that thing slipped out of my hand just now but let's try the facial recognition and yeah that's very quick too so yeah there's a lot to like about this phone but let me know in the comment section what you think about the oneplus n30 if have you how long have you been using it do you um, think it's a solid device or an upgrade from last year or what do you guys have, have any thoughts about it? Let me know and I'm going to get right back with you. I'll check you guys later. Peace.